is freedom of speech really free? Mm. Is there any recourse behind it? Mm. I think we need to dig into this. Behind the mask. What up, my boy? What's good, family? Another day of paradise. You know what it is. Hey, man. It's good to see you today, my brother. Yes, sir. I'm digging the shirt. You know hey, I mean? man. You know, a good friend of mine, man. He brought it over and dropped it off to no me. No doubt. No doubt. You know, Shout we've been Danny. waiting on him for a while. For sure. <laughs> Shout out to the former dude known as the plus size model. But you heard. You heard. No doubt. No doubt. What's good with you, man? Man, basically, bro, like, you know, we, we, we got some good stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah. But when we look at where we are, we live in a time to where um, it's a heightened sensitivity yeah. when it comes to certain conversations. It's a heightened sensitivity when the public wants to know our responses or to hear our opinions on things that really don't even affect us mm. in particular. Basically, they always want to know what really goes on and off the field. Not just necessarily from a play, but just your opinion. Yeah. And which really leads the conversation to, you know, cancel culture. You know, where is freedom of speech really free? Mm. Is there any recourse behind it? Mm. I think we need to dig into this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That freedom of speech, that's that's a tough one. It's supposed to be afforded to to all of us. Right, but I think one of the first things we learned in the NFL. Remember, we went to the um, the rookie symposium, yeah, and they said you got choices, decisions, and consequences, consequences. Right, everybody has a choice, regardless of what the situation is. We got a choice. You have a choice how you want to respond, uh, if you choose to respond or not. With that choice, you make a decision, right? But yep. with that decision, one way or the other, there's a consequence. Absolutely, might, might be you know on your side or might be something that you approve of or you approve of later, but you might get canceled for what you say, for what you believe in. And that's the funny part when you talk about wanting to know what an athlete thinks on a particular subject or an entertainer thinks on a particular subject that may not directly affect them. You know what I mean? Like physically be about their family or their friends, their immediate circle. Yeah. What do they think about it, right? So I think people want to know your opinion but a lot of times they want to know your opinion as long as it is the same as theirs. So if you ask me something, I give you an answer, you might be cool with it. The general public is cool with it. Yeah. But if they don't agree with what you say, they got a problem then with it. And it's a problem. And they, then they like, shut up. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to we don't want to hear that. And and to me, that whole freedom of speech thing, like you said, it ain't really free, bro. It's I don't agree with it. But then again, I'm just one person in this whole grand scheme of things that has an opinion, my non-opinionated opinion about everything going on in this world, man. Well, I do think you it, there there has to be some form of accountability. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when when you say certain things, especially if it's if it's not true, or if you're out here spewing hate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we all know people who do that. Yeah, I, that's that's call a spade a spade. You talk about Kanye. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Kanye, there's several people that's out there that say certain things that ain't got jack shit to do with what the facts are, and I'm all about the facts. Yeah. Right? That's so what we are. If, if you say something, if you if you have freedom, everybody has freedom of speech. Would you agree with that? Yeah, facts. But if you say something that's false, you have an op option to not consume that. I have an option to not consume something if you say something that I don't agree with. So basically, oh, you're just cool. saying I could walk away from it or just turn it off. The same thing I tell my kids. If there's something that you don't agree with on social media, all you could do is put the phone down. I don't have to absorb it. I don't have to entertain it. I don't have to internalize it to develop feelings about it. That's just how I, I, I act. You know what I mean? And I, I even go back to the football field back when Kaepernick. Kaepernick took the knee because he believed certain things were happening in society that he didn't agree with. So he took a knee, right? Right. You told me earlier, there's a few things that you really cannot challenge power on. That's this country and the flag. He yep. chose that. He had a choice. His decision was to take a knee. The consequences, this man ain't playing football no more. Right. But it still was in the context of what freedom of speech is. So, like, 
again, you agree with somebody, it's cool. You don't agree with somebody, you want to silence them. So how are you really silencing freedom of speech? And I, that's the part I don't agree with. From Kaepernick to Minister Farrakhan, honestly, to Donald Trump and now to Kanye, is like people can say what the hell they want to say, but there will be a consequence. Somebody right. can challenge Takiyo on something you said. Right. But if they come in your face with the same stuff they spitting on social media, might be a consequence, bro. I ain't gonna let you get in my airspace, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel threatened. I'm letting you know Listen, off top. Man. And that's how it's supposed to be. But like, how do you, how do you justify allowing, or how do you justify someone having that constitutional right, right? But as soon as they decide to say something that they, they feel, all of a sudden it's canceled. <sighs> Mr. Reyes. Here we go. Every time you say that. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I you know, it, it, it comes with the consequence. And, and I think rightfully so, it should. I'll give you some, let me give you some real examples. I think about Donald Sterling. Mm -hmm. Used to be the owner of the Clippers. Yeah. He came out and made the racist comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Bro, it's only two degrees of separation from the comments he made dealing with his own players. Own players yeah. And so, yeah, it's freedom of speech. You can say, I, 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 listen, I am so happy we have that. Because when he said it, I applaud everybody who was in the NBA. I applaud everybody who heard that and said, that's not really what we're standing up here for. Mm -hmm. That's not what we really represent. What did they do? They got his ass up out of there. Yeah. And he was the owner of his own team now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a fiduciary responsibility, especially regardless of if you own something, you're, you're your own CEO, you're an entrepreneur. You know, I, I find it funny because people were so quick to say, man, I don't work for nobody. Yeah. So I could say what I want to say. And are they right? You Yeah. You can say what you want to say. But just know you're not immune to the backlash that's going to come after that. i give you an example. When you look at CEOs, even if they started their own company, they are governed by the board to make sure not one person is stronger than the brand. And there's been several case instances to where we've seen people been in that position as CEO and they've been ousted out. They've been ousted because they were threatening the brand. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately at the end of the day, man, you got a whole lot of people. This ain't about you. Yeah, you're benefiting off of it greatly, immensely, just because you were the one who was responsible for putting it together. But it's so much bigger because it's thousands of employees that come behind it. So just take it for an example. Let's say Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe to me, he, I, maybe the richest man in the world, maybe. Amazon. Top yeah. five or whatever. And he can say whatever he wants to say. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? He created his own entities. And they are. He getting the, he's the ultimate example of mailbox money. I'm going to go to sleep making money. <laughs> I done had the worst dream of all time. I'm still making money. Yeah. I had a dream about going broke. False. I wake up, <laughs> I feel better because I'm still making money. But you let, if you let Jeff Bezos do, do something towards, let's say, the top 50% of the people who really patronize him, mm -hmm. or if he even does something to his board of advisors, Watch how he will be held accountable. Because you can't talk bad about somebody, especially the people who are patronizing you to, and then expect for them to keep coming back giving you funds. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, we, we benefit off of freedom of speech, but just know it's something tied to it. It's the accountability piece that's going to govern you. Yeah, I can see that, and I can agree with that. And if there's a situation where an employee like a Kaepernick can is supposed to have freedom of speech, but under a company, you can't do it on the company's time, company dime. 
Well, they, I, they don't I, want I, you to do that. I, 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 get, I get I get it. I, From, as, as, a, as an executive, I understand that. But as a person that is feeling like, you know what? Even on my social media, I can say what I want to say. I can do what I want to do. Why am I held accountable for those things if that's my opinion? If somebody asks my opinion, I give my opinion. I'm being held accountable for my opinion. So how am I all of a sudden canceled? I get the, the captain. Don't get me wrong. I get the captain thing. But how am I all of a sudden canceled because of my opinion? And I and I know we're not going to dig dig deep into it. But back to the Kanye thing, and we 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 had conversations about this, man. The opinion was false, right? Yep. Totally fake. Totally false. So if you say if I say something that's false that you don't agree with. It should end there. When you know the shit I'm saying is false. Why are we digging into it deeper and making it more than what it is? For me, I look at what, what the man said. I'm like, yo, get out of it. This is bullshit. We've seen it with our own eyes for over a year. What's really going on in this country? Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to dig too deep into it. But if I know this man, if I know somebody saying something false with their freedom of speech, why the hell am I diving into it and internalizing and making it something more than what it is? Why can't I just put it in the box and say, nah, I'm not going to entertain it. So you're- I'm not going to support it. With Cap, Cap is taking a knee, just like all the people that was uh, disagreeing with Cap for taking a knee, right? And yeah. we're like, as former players, we were on his side when it came out. When we were getting emails from the league, we're like, nah. This man should have an opportunity to play, right? But everybody else, our board members on our nonprofits, the people that we work with, we're like, nah, he's disrespecting the flag. We're sitting there like, no, he's not. This is his freedom of speech. No, he's not. And he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. There's some yeah. truth in that. I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, you ain't going to take this man's livelihood. Nah, he, he agrees. He believes in something. True, false, right, wrong, and different. Leave it there. I disagree with what you're saying. That's it. But I'm not going to take your livelihood because of what you're saying I don't agree with now. I don't want you to make no more money. The same thing with Kanye. With, with Honestly, with Minister Farrakhan, they silenced him on all social media. Trump, I don't agree with a lot of shit he spewed. They silenced him on social media. But now people want to actually say, that's not enough. We want to come after your pockets because we don't agree. And that's the cancel culture that I don't agree with. Yeah, you held responsible because you're silenced. That freedom of speech really ain't free, like you said. But then coming after pockets, digging deep, internalizing it, making it more than what it is. Again, every battle ain't ours, bro. And we talked about this earlier. Every battle ain't ours. You, we don't have to, this culture does not have to be sensitive enough to internalize every single thing that comes across your phone. It's pointless. You, you, you digging yourself an early grave by putting all that extra stress and weight on you. At Wait. least that's how I think. That's how I, my grandmother taught me to ignore ignorance. One of the yeah. greatest things ever. You know the spikes. Yeah, but I think the thing what you're missing is you got people out here. They are influencers, regardless if you like it or not. And when you have somebody who is spewing hate, in mm -hmm. particular, and just coming out saying shit, that's tr totally false. Right. Like take for an example, you just said Kanye and and talking about George Floyd. You know, they should they should cancel him. I've been canceled him. Right. I don't even get my blood pressure up over him. Right. But I do understand I'm one of billions. And so I'm I'm unique in the way that I think. Now, the reason why I do feel like it's okay is because bottom line is this, bro. People only pay attention. People's attention span now these days is so short. That's the reason why we cater social media. Because people's attention span is only going to last for so long. That's the reason why when you look at certain images on social media, if they really want you to get something, they don't really put the important stuff down in the, at the bottom. They flash it up on the screen. Clickbait. Because people don't read yeah. like they don't. And so with knowing that, listen, call it marketing, call it whatever you want. People throw the bait out there just because they know they'll get people to be able to jump on it. And they know, I'm going to play off of your intellect. Mm -hmm. I know you're too lazy to read. This ain't, a, I, this ain't a black thing. I don't think this just is a white thing. Man, it's everybody thing. Everybody is guilty of it. 
And so I say this to say is this. I don't have a problem with them canceling Kanye, which I know you don't either. Because he's bringing up something that has been proven true and we've all seen it. The problem I think they have is it really made people feel uncomfortable, as it should have, to see the way that George Floyd was murdered. And they know it's going to go back in and create a whole round of mess, reset the algorithm with a bunch of people. Now, and this is going back to the point to where people don't read. Now, if people look up to Kanye as an influencer, and when you look up to him and you hear what he says, and then you'll just take that simple little snippet, that part, and say, oh, Kanye said this. This is the truth. This is the gospel. As much as you and I sit here and we know that we know better than that, man, it's billions billions of people. They just don't know, bro. Yeah. Like, they just don't know. So my point is, I get it. And they should cut it off. Because this ain't no different than you look at black history. Black history now is not even being taught in certain schools. Shit, I'll tell you straight up. I remember growing up, at least my early years, until like my parents sat me down and they was like, man, let me just tell you the real history. I really thought Christopher Columbus was that dude. <laughs> I really did. And I was like, when after I found out, I was like, oh, yeah. my God. So, you know, like, so we have to be important about who we let hold a microphone and and... Every time where I feel like it's incumbent upon myself and you, man, we two educated brothers, man. When we get a chance to speak, man, we don't speak, and we don't speak the truth. And you ain't going to hold down my truth. No, nah, not at all. Not at all. And I I agree, 1,000% agree. I think along those lines, my thought process is we know when someone is spitting a false narrative. Right? Why feed into that? Yes, we can say, nah, we don't agree with it. Yes, we can say we done seen exactly what happened. You're not going to tell me something different. No different than Trump saying certain stuff. And we like, bro, you literally said this. You literally did this. You can't script it and say, no, this is what I, what it really was. It's like we saw it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I like to think I'm intelligent enough. And I love to think that people are intelligent enough to be like, I'm not going to let this BS rile me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, that that comes with the freedom of speech. Again, say say what you want to say. It does come with the consequences. Right. But yo, you're not going to get me to change what the hell I done saw. That's not happening. I'm not that freaking naive. You know what I'm saying? So why are we giving it so much and we doing it on a damn show, but why are we giving it so much light, you know what I'm saying, when there's no need to do that? I think our mindset needs to be, you're not, for me, you're not going to stifle what my opinion or what I'm saying. Right. Whatever the platform may be, right? Yep. Because there's hypocrisy and all of that. It is, 1,000%. They, 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 took, they took the interviews off, right? Yep. But you still got the imagery of George Floyd getting murdered on the same platform. Make that make sense. You can silence what I'm saying, but on your side, you're still complicit with what really went on. That doesn't make sense to me. You're you know just saying, saying you would rather have it, if you won't act this way, just do it one way all the way down the street. Yo, keep it, keep it, keep it straight. Keep it straight. And I and again, I please understand, and I hope with the the same thing with the clickbait, with the the marketing, with the the snippets that we post on social media. Please understand what I'm saying. I do not agree with what this man said at all. It was BS. It was fake. It was phony. It was false. You know what I'm saying? However, if we're going to sit there and judge somebody for what they're saying, I personally am like, nah, I'm not even going to... It's, it's so fabricated. It's so fake. I'm not going to give it no energy. And for me, you less of a, your mindset ain't right if you are giving it energy to keep going. That's the freedom of speech. Let that happen. That's okay. I'm not effing with it. 
it's to me, it's very simple. Okay. Trump says some stuff on social media I don't agree with. It comes through our group chats and people look up in arms. I'm like, all right, what are we going to do about it? We're not going to do any, anything about it? Why are we talking about it? Keep it moving. It's fake. That whole, to me, the cancel culture thing, because guess what? Tomorrow, what's today? We film on Tuesdays. The episode is going to be released. I guarantee you by the end of the week, there's going to be something else that we're upset about. Upset about. It's bogus to me, man. It's bogus to me, bro. And we can go back and forth with this all day, man. Because I know, like you said, freedom of speech ain't free, bro. All right, all right so th this is the problem. This is what it is. If I felt like you were blatantly wrong, and I'm saying this to you because you know this, but our audience doesn't. So I got to cash them up. So if I felt like you were blatantly wrong, mm -hmm. I would tell you. Absolutely. But I am telling you you're wrong right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you you're wrong. You're not off. We like I'm throwing a rope out here. We're so I'm saying we in the same. Yes. We in, we in the lounge. No lies in the lounge. No lies in the lounge. This is where too much energy is given to it. Or I think you're a very intelligent guy. No, you are. I appreciate it. Very astute. Thank you. But sometimes you, I think you're giving too much. You don't give yourself enough credit. You give the mother billions of people all the credit of how they really should think. When we already know the attention span is only for so long. The mind can only retain what the ass can endure, <laughs> sir. So my point is, is this, man, we... Your intelligent level, you can't expect everybody to have it. You're uniquely different, Mr. Reyes. And so from this point forward, I'm going to need for you to start conducting yourself in a manner to where you understand that because you can't hold them to a higher accountability level. I can't hold them to my accountability level. You really yeah. can't. And I'm really like... Like, I'm, I'm patting you on the back, though, no, bro. I appreciate it. Honestly, I appreciate like, it. Like, for real, because they ain't going to get it. And that could be the disconnect in the way I think. And that's and if I'm wrong, I've been wrong before, trust but me. But it's, it's a great <laughs> method, What you, your ability to be able to compartmentalize yeah. things and say, you know what? Is this really affecting me? No, it ain't. Right. Because at the end of the day, man, everybody is responsible and everybody is accountable to someone. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we talked about, I think about Twitter. Um, God, what's his name? Um, Dorsey. Uh, Jack Dorsey. Dorsey, yeah. I think about Jack Dorsey in Twitter, one of the creators. Uh, he was ousted out. Mm. I remember even going back to Roseanne Barr in 20, 2018. She made some racial remarks on Twitter. Her show was pulled down, canceled. Then it was put back up, and she went back on social media and made some comments about Barack Obama's senior advisor. And she was canceled for that. And then she tried to come back and apologize, like, hey, you know, like, it was a bad joke. I realized it was yeah. that. Ain't no, it ain't no bad joke. Like, you knew exactly what you Before were doing. Me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think one of the things, you know, when we look at this in the grand scheme is, you know, another person just really popped to mind was Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, before, you know, we all know Steve Jobs from Apple. Right. But he was ousted in the beginning. And then he eventually came back. That's where the majority of people know Steve Jobs from, from the time period when he came back out. Because mm -hmm. he was ousted out by his advisors yeah. or whoever the powers may have been at that time. So my point is in telling this story is, man, you're going to be held accountable. Yeah. Like everybody's going to be held accountable. And I know we're always quick to say, oh, man, I, I work for myself. I'm an entrepreneur. But yeah, but you're selling something to somebody. <laughs> and if you don't keep that in mind. <laughs> so let me ask you this, bro. Now, I know, and I don't know what the, the policy is now, but you were talking about Twitter. When we, when I was leaving the league, Twitter had just came out, showing my age. 
but they started putting in the um, the conduct policy that we couldn't tweet a couple of hours before the game. We couldn't talk during the game or on social media and a couple of hours after the game, whatever that time frame was. I don't know what it is now. So we, we're going back to the freedom of speech and cancel culture. We even seen it when back when I think Juju or AB or somebody was in a locker room right yep. after the game on yep. social media. Remember that? Yep. With the Steelers. And um, they got fined for that. So think of that contest. I get I get these are rules, right? Yep. But again, that's your personal deal. Yeah. What is the big deal about you as a, a team owner, you as the NFL, because you work with the league, about me posting, saying whatever I want to say on my time before I clock in for a game, clock in for social media? What 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 is the big deal? Help help me understand, bro. Because I'm not I'm not I, I'm on social media, right? I get yeah. it. You're 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 on it, but you don't you don't care for it. But what is the big deal about? Okay, this is my time, my freedom, my time to do what I want to do. You feel the need to control it because basically what we're talking about, what it's coming down to, is censorship, bro. It's coming down to censorship. One of the things we do with Behind the Mask, we don't allow anybody to come in here and tell us what we're going to do, what right. we're going to say. We come up with what we're going to say. Because the we are on our time. On our time, on our platform, Behind the Mask, we're going Behind the Mask to tell the story from the perspective of our guests. We don't sit there and, and have the guest on our show say something and then pull it down. No. The only person, the only people that have a say-so, and what's put out is us and the guests. Nobody else. So you want me to... Go in from the league, censorship, all that. What, what are we talking about? You are 100% right. <laughs> I think he's going to say wrong. <laughs> no, settle down. Let's settle. Tranquila. Let's <laughs> relax in Spanish, okay. people. Okay. So you are right. When you are on your time, you're right. And nobody can censor you on your own time. They can't censor you in that way. It shouldn't be that way. But I think the thing that you're failing to remember is, like, you on my time. You on my clock. If you if you were in the NFL locker room, would you typically just walk in the NFL locker room if you were not getting paid? Being you having the experience you've already had? No. You're coming in that locker room because... You are on their time, and they're paying you to come and perform. Even going back then, when even my last few years of playing, Twitter was huge. Instagram first had just came out. So, like, bro, like, they paying for your time to come in and make this team better. They didn't realize that, oh, I didn't know that they really can show the locker room and take this thing to the next level. And this really could give them another access. Roger Goodell did, which he's done a like a hell of a job of doing that. But my point is, your time is your time when you're not getting paid. But when you getting paid, you can't go in there and do that dumb, foolish crap what A.B. did. He going FaceTime live after the game when you already know there's policy. Wait the two hours. Wait the two hours after it's over. Period. So if our time, athletes, if our time is our time, explain how an athlete can get fined for something they say on Twitter off the clock. Because it's happened. If I say something off the clock on my own time, I'm not in the locker room. I'm not at practice. I'm not en route to a game. I'm not in the pregame meal. None of that. I can still get fined or... For what? The kind of detrimental... For something that's said on social media. It's my time. It's personal time. I'm not at work. Where does the freedom of speech stop at? Where does it start at? Where it starts and stops in that little, after you sign that contract and you see that, all that shit at the bottom, <laughs> where you got to bring that magnifying glass out and you got to do like that. That's what it is. That's called the statute of limitation. And, 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 and it's also called, if you do this, we going to do that. Hey, man, we all on borrowed time, bro. You just got to make sure you know when your time is your time and when their time is their time. And also decipher 
Oh, okay. That's how we make our living. We make our living by saying, you know what? I'm going to sell you my time. Well, Mr. Reyes, how much is it going to cost me per hour to take some of your time? Spikes, I want to buy an hour of your time, and I want you to do this for me. Well, sir, you know what? If we ain't, if you ain't even talking about north of ten thousand dollars, we ain't even talking. <laughs> That's what it's gonna cost you, range wise, for my time. I think we're on the same page ultimately, but like with that social media stuff, man, and the whole cancel culture, I'm gonna be like KD, get me a, a burner account. Tweet from the burner account said they don't know. <laughs> Post from the, from the burner account said they, said they don't know it's me. You got to prove it's me. But nah, man, like, I, I get it. I, I believe in if you don't agree with somebody, you got options. You can either not support them. That's, yep. it's, that's totally fine. That's your option. That's your opinion. You cannot internalize what they're saying. That's cool. I just personally think when it gets to canceling somebody, stopping them or preventing them from making a living because you don't agree with what they said, I think that's too far. That's way too far, bro. It's like, come on, man. You just don't agree, and that's okay. Don't agree, keep it moving. Don't support, keep it moving. Turn the channel, throw the phone away. Keep it moving. That's all right. But now I can't make money or for the platform that I was making more money on, you didn't have to come to this platform and watch or listen to what we doing. You didn't have to. You had that option. That was a very viable option. Close your eyes. Shit will go away. I promise. <laughs> like, you, you ain't got to deal with it. But now to stop me from making money, making a livelihood because you don't agree with what I said, nah, that's the part I ain't with, bro. You, you know what I, I... It boils down. Maybe this is Admentus when it comes to just realizing, you know, certain people were going to believe what they want to believe. You know, and 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 one thing that I do think about is 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 people it's just racism. Mm. You know, people who are racist. Like they, you know, it's I would like to think that they're going to change. And you pray for them. I know I pray for people to, for their hearts to change. But are they really going to change unless if they really want to? So I don't know. But I think bottom line is what we can truly agree on out of this conversation is like everybody is accountable to somebody and everybody got to an answer to somebody and you're responsible for somebody. So uh, with that being said, you know, you know, freedom of speech. Yeah, it's free but it could come at a cost. Choices, decisions, and consequences. I can agree with that, bro. Salute. Salute.